Blessings with you, Evangelist Martin Orozco. Today, during this week, I'm bringing some encourage war with a purpose to equip you with the Word of God. The Word of God is our strength, is our bread. Remember what the Bible says, not only of bread will live the men, but of any word that come from the mouth of our God. God spoke and creation was made. God speak today and he with his word bring peace, bring confidence, bring salvation. Jesus Christ is the word of God. He is the verb, he is the, the word itself that was made flesh and he dwelt among us with glory and grace. And he brought us, he brought us the word of salvation that feed our spirit, that feed our soul. And that's the reason we are committed and committed to believe, to share this blessing that is the word of God. Glory to God that he speak and we can live. But when God speak, we need to open our ears, spiritually speaking. We need to open our heart so that word come to our heart and bring fruit. Fruit of thanksgiving, fruit of faith, fruit of obedience, because certainly that's what God deserves, that we are obedient to his word and to his blessings. Today says in Psalm 46, God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. God is our refuge and strength, and he's always ready to help in times of trouble. You know, one day, I was helping this person uh, in my job. Uh, the lady, she went to buy some gas, put some gas in the gas station, and two guys approached and stole her purse, stole some money. And I remember she ran to me, asking me for help. And she said, please, Martin, call 911. Uh, and I called 911, and what a frustrated thing. It was really frustrated. Because 911 sent us to another number, and we waiting, 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 waiting. It couldn't make it through. We waited for at least one hour. After one hour, somebody responded, and they sent the police. And they took the report of what happened, and the lady was there explaining, you know, how these men looked like, what they did, how, how much money they took. They took note, and they said, okay, we'll be back with you. Let me tell you, it was completely frustrated. Because when she needed help, she couldn't have it. So I know some people for bigger emergency have situation they call and the police right away, but that's not the case. Why? Because men fail. Men is not perfect. But we're not talking in this Bible verse about a, a system that fail. We're talking about a God that is faithful. And he said he's ready. God is ready to help you. When you claim to God, when you call him, he's ready, present, available to help you in whatever you need. God is refugee. God is a strength. 
God is our refuge. God is our strength. When we trust Him, when we put our heart on Him, when our faith awaits on Him through Jesus Christ. And what a beautiful thing. He's ready. Like, like somebody that is like good to go. That's our God. He's ready to help you. Listen, I've been mentioning the last two days about this coming year. Uh, well, we actually are ready in the year, in 2021. Let me tell you this. Yesterday, I told you that you need to run to the strength, a strong name of our God. Today, I'm telling you, go to the refugee. Go to the hell that is God. You will need help this year. Help that you won't find but only in our God. He is ready with his hand open to receive you. You know, Jesus came with a purpose to grant us salvation freely. He won't give you salvation, which is true repentance, true confession of your sins. Jesus wants to be your refuge. Jesus wants to be that man right there, that guy right there for you. He want to be you promptly, you readily help. He's ready to save you. The only thing you need to do is believe in him as your savior. You know that he took your place at the cross. He suffered the death, the penalty of your condemnation. He took it so you can come to salvation. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. He only desire that you make it to his presence through Jesus Christ. Do not reject. He's ready to save you. Confess your sins. Tell Lord Jesus and a sinner. I repent of my sins. I confess that you are the Son of God who died at the cross and who resurrected. And you will come to judge the world. Save me, Lord. Make me a new creature. If you made this prayer, please don't hesitate and let us know. And we will be happy to help you. Remember, God is our refuge and strength always ready to help in times of trouble. Don't reject the help. God wanna be there for you. Not give you only salvation of this world, but salvation in your soul for the coming age. When you pass this world, you wanna face judgment. Only through Jesus Christ, you can be exonerated of any guilt and you can declare justified through Jesus Christ. God bless you.